Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, solve some word problems using trigonometry and the law of sines. And for these problems though, we're gonna use a little bit more geometry uh, to solve for these. Now again, just like when we did for the other problems, when we're solving word problems with trigonometry, we need to create triangles and we need to take our picture and kind of see what is it we are working with. And in both of these examples, yep, looks like I am going to be using um, some bearings for my directions. So it's gonna be kind of very important that we remember the difference between bearings um, and standard form. And so in this first one though, uh, we're again, we're gonna to wanna to create our triangle and then we we'll, then once we create a triangle, we'll just kinda of take our triangle away from our picture and then apply the law of signs to find our missing line. So in the first one it says a ranger station A sits, uh, ranger station A, I don't know why I said sites, sits, Oh, sets a fire, 3060s, sits at a fire. What is Ridge Day? Sites. Oh, that's what I was saying. Huh. Sites a fire 36 degrees east of north. So here's A. And let's say you see the fire. So here's Ranger Station A, and it sees a fire, right? Choo, there we go. So the fire is 36 degrees east of north, right? Here's due north. Here's east, south, or I'm sorry, south, that's west obviously. There's east, okay? So you kind of see how I use bearings right there to kind of initially get that set up. Um, and then it says there's a ranger station B, sites the same fire 48 degrees west of north. So we're gonna do the same thing. We'll say here's ranger station B, and then that one is going to be 48 degrees west of north, because here's due north, east, south, west, okay? Um, and what you can see is we kind of have a, like a little bit of a picture of a triangle going on here. Now, again, what we need to do is figure out the side lengths of the triangles. And let's see, if a ranger know, if ranger A knows that she is 10, 10 miles away from the fire, so that means this length is 10 miles, how far is ranger B? Oh, I should have gone. If they were, how far is ranger B? Okay. So let's go ahead and take the picture out and see what we have here. So now again, now the important thing is we don't really have any angles inside the triangle. So we have to use our understanding of complementary angles. If this angle is 48, that means this angle right here is going to be 32 degrees. If this angle right here is 36 degrees, that means this angle right here is 44 degrees. So we have 44 degrees, we have 32 degrees, we have here is 10 miles, and we want to figure out um, how far is ranger B? So we want to find this length. So we'll just call this um, length B, okay? Well, now we have enough information to set up our law of signs. So we can basically say that uh, 10 over uh, sine of 32 degrees is equal to B over the sine of 44 degrees. Therefore, B is approximately sine of 44 degrees times 10 over the sine of 32 degrees. We need to go ahead and solve. Now, make sure when you go ahead and type this in your calculator that your calculator is in degree mode. Um, and again, to solve for B, I just undid dividing by sine of 44, so I multiplied by sine of 44 on both sides. And therefore, I have 10 times the sine of 44 degrees, and then I'm gonna divide that by the sine of 32 degrees. And I'm gonna round this to the nearest mile, so therefore I'm not gonna be approximating. I'll say B is going to be equal to 13 miles. Okay, and you can see their angles are relatively close, so therefore their length should be relatively close, and you can see that 13 miles, yes, does indeed make sense. All right, for the next one, it says a bearing, the bearing from station A to station B is 65 degrees. Um, hmm, so we have two stations, they're at 65 degrees. So let's go ahead and create a bearing, north, east, Southwest. So again, when you just have a bearing, you're not even saying like due north or due east. You're going to go from due north. So we'll say from A, a so here's A, and we'll do 65 degrees, station B. Okay. Uh, a fire is spotted at, so a station A to station B is 65 degrees. The fire, a fire is spotted at a bearing of 80 degrees. So therefore, I'm going to do another one. 80 degrees. Now I don't know how far this is, so let me just kind of read, keep on reading. Uh, the fire is south 70 degrees east from station B. So I'm just going to create something here. I know it's going to be east of that, so I'm going to go a little bit farther. So I'm going to say, here, all right, there's my fire. So that's going to be 80 degrees. And then from here, 
It, they said it was south, 7 degrees east. So therefore, we know that is going to be 70 degrees. Okay? Um, the fire is south 70 degrees from station B. Okay? If the stations are 30 kilometers apart, so from A to B is 30 kilometers. I guess I didn't ask what it is. <laughs> How far is station A from the fire? I guess I forgot to ask the question. <laughs> So we're going to call this, um, so that means I need to go ahead and figure out uh, 70 degrees. I need to be able to figure out what this length is. So I'm going to call this little b. Now the problem is I have 80, right? Well, I do actually, I need to figure out what these angles are, these angles are. From here to here is 80, and then from here to here is 65. So if I actually want to figure out what that angle is, I'm going to do 80 degrees minus 65 degrees which is 15 degrees. So that's very important that that angle is actually um, 15 degrees. But that's going to give me how far, um, yeah, okay, well that will help me out. So that's going to give me 15 degrees. Now I need to figure out what this angle is. So it kind of gets a little difficult here, but you, hopefully you guys can see that these two lines are parallel lines. These north-south lines are parallel lines. So that means if this is 65 degrees, by using alternate interior angles, this angle is also 65 degrees. So therefore, if I have 65 degrees and 75 degrees, that means this angle is 135 degrees. So now, if I know that's 15 degrees, that's 135 degrees, 40, 50, that means this angle has to be 30 degrees, right? Because the, all the angles in a triangle have to add up to 100 and uh, 180. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, I have enough information. I have this side length and this angle. And I have this angle and this side length. So now I can use my law of signs to create a proportion that I can go ahead and solve. So I'll do B over the sine of 135 degrees is equal to 30 kilometers over um, the sine of 30 degrees. So now to solve for B, I'm just going to multiply by the sine of 135 on both sides. So I have 30 kilometers times the sine of 135 degrees all over the sine of 30 degrees. So I just go back to my handy dandy calculator here and I'll just do the sine of 135 times 30 divided by the sine of 30. And I get 42.42 and that looks about, sounds about right, right? So if I'm going to round that to the uh, nearest kilometer, that would just be 42. So I'll say B is equal to 42 kilometers. Um, boom, boom, boom. And let me just make sure that's going to be 80, that's going to be 30, that's going to be 135, 42, 65, 65, that's 80. Mm. Yeah, and that's 70. And then that's going to be 65. Yeah. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for the uh, missing side lengths of a triangle using the uh, law of sines as well as other trigonometric properties such as complementary angles and um, alternate interior angles. Thanks.